Now my name is Carlos Abreu. Today I will be talking to you about four items that are part of the upcoming release of new equipment that will further enhance our small addressable systems, which encompass the KIDA VS1 and VS4 addressable control panels, and our KIDA FX64 and FX1000 addressable control panels, all which are always positioned to meet small to mid-level life safety applications. Now the four items in the upcoming release are related to the following. Remote connectivity, like for central station monitoring services and diagnostics before technician deployment. Local connectivity for panel programming, diagnostics as well, and printing. An interface for third-party building management system connectivity. Remote connectivity to an extent. And the fourth item being cybersecurity enhancements to counter today's cyber threats. As you may have guessed by now, the overall theme of the upcoming product release is around connectivity, a very important aspect of a life safety system. And the last item I will be talking about today is our current overall small addressable system solution that encompasses the upcoming release of our new products. Now, before getting into that first item, I would like to give you some background on our small addressable systems. Since launching in 2008, our steadfast commitment in meeting the needs of our customers and keeping with codes and standards has been palpable from the depth of the enhancements since day one. From initial release, connectivity was important, and as trends in technology and codes changed, so must the methods to meet those resulting needs and requirements. The SureGuard receiver compatibility for remote connectivity, a new USB interface module for local connectivity, a new field server bridge interface to support communications with third-party building management systems, cybersecurity enhancements that is actually rolled up into each of the three products that are being released. Like with any other small addressable system, which normally includes a control panel with detection and notification equipment, there are other pieces of the puzzle needed to complete the overall life safety solution in a majority of applications you face today. This other equipment, these pieces of the puzzle I'm referring to, will be UL listed ac accessories for life safety systems or ancillary equipment for non-emergency functions. Now, first of those items as part of our upcoming release is the enhancement to our existing Ethernet interface module, the SA-ETH. Now, the enhancement includes supporting IP communications from our life safety systems to a central station that's deploying SureGuard IP receivers. Therefore, yes, the SA-ETH is UL listed for that purpose. Further, the enhancements include the SureGuard Fibro IP protocol, which makes our system compatible with receivers from SureGuard, like the SureGuard 1 through 5. Supports single and dual path communication requirements, and currently supports the connection to our Fireworks workstation. Now it supports remote connectivity for programming and configuration and diagnostics, but keep in mind that if any program changes are performed remotely, that a technician needs to be on site to perform local testing of any changes made to the system. Our telco communicator is still available for POTS lines, for applications where that method of communication is the only option available at the time. However, by deploying an SAETH for IP communications to a central station does help eliminate the, the costly use of POTS lines. As shown, the module does mount in the top right corner of the panel's main electronic assembly. Our next add is the new USB interface module. This new module will be UL listed as well, similar to our existing SA-232 module. Because it will reside in the control panel and is used to configure and program the life safety system. And our upcoming SA-230 module is being introduced because new laptops today are shipping without DB9 serial ports but provide multiple USB ports. Now our existing SA232 module is used either to connect to a compatible printer to the control panel or the use of a technician's laptop running the configuration utility. The SA-232 will be phased out in 2021 to be replaced by our new SA-USB interface module. Now the new SA-USB will mount in the same location where the 232 
is located. Now the third product in the release is our SA-FSB, Field Server Bridge, new for the small addressable systems. This unit will provide communication bridge between our small addressable system and a third party building management system. It is considered an ancillary equipment, so it does not require the UL compatibility listing, but please note use in ancillary applications may still require approval by your local authority having jurisdiction, your AHJ. The unit is designed to read the panel's RS-232 protocol and output the respective translation depending on one, the protocol selected, Modbus or BACnet, and two, the configuration performed by the user for the specific application. Now the default configuration file stored with the FSB is under Modbus TCP protocol, but can easily be changed to BACnet. Now the configuration files and instructions to do so will be provided upon product release, of course. Now to simplify configuration process, filters are included to allow the user to select what points with the respective event status is to be translated and sent to the building management system. Now keep in mind with the field server bridge, one field server bridge is supported per panel and it will mount in an MFC-A enclosure as shown. I did mention it is shipped with the Modbus protocol as default. And the fourth item in the upcoming release is our cybersecurity enhancements to help combat today's cyber threats. Now these updates have been implemented in our new panel firmware and software such as our configuration utility, the CU, and field upgrade utility, the FUU. All three will be released at a version 4.3. Now included in this year cybersecurity enhancement is updated encryption for our CU or FUU to panel communications, updated firewall protection, a strong password policy and setting up access to the software, and added security controls for the CU installation files. The new version 4.3 is not backward compatible with existing two loop control panels running to point X firmware. Now, what's next for what's new? The overall release includes a new version of firmware, of course, which means customers with existing panels will need to a firmware upgrade to deploy the new and enhanced equipment that I've presented today. The new version of firmware and the field upgrade utility used to upgrade the firmware are both backward compatible to panels running version 4.0. The existing configuration utility has been enhanced as well to support the new capability of the SA-ETH. It is also backward compatible to panels running version 4.0. Now lastly, I would like to present an overall picture of our current life safety solution, our small addressable system that is positioned for that small to mid-level application. Now as seen from the elements that make up our system, from connectivity and enunciation options to emergency voice evacuation and special applications equipment, addressable modules and local notification appliances and addressable detection devices, its capabilities and versatilities are apparent as a solid solution for new installations, upgrades and retrofits, as well as offering further benefits from its ease of installation and deployment, offering a reduced learning curve for your technical staff, supporting backward compatibility, and allowing the use of existing infrastructure, being a system that is easy to maintain and is field upgradable when features are released, such as the upcoming release of the enhanced products that I've talked about today. Further, with an updated cybersecurity posture to meet today's cyber threats. And I'll go back to, and cannot forget, and low current draw LED notification appliances to our new optical detection devices to combat false alarms. I would like to thank you for your time today in listening to me present information about our 2021 new product introductions.